War was over for me. Those uh, train rides would be ended. And I would be coming home. But not so fast. There were so many people wanting out of the service to get back to their homes, back to their jobs, to get their life together, but they had to wait. They set up a point system. So many points per year of service. It wasn't until 1946 in March that I had enough points that I got discharged. And when I came home, the first thing I did was bought me a 36 Chevrolet. I was tired of riding trains, streetcars, and bicycles. But the war episode, the, the good, the bad, and the evil wasn't over yet. There was two women, and this is no cast on women, one was known as Axis Sally, and the other one was Tokyo Rose. There's probably very few World War II veterans that can remember hearing their broadcasts. Axis Sally hid in Berlin and finally was captured and brought to the United States and tried in 1948 for treason for what she had done. And she was sent to a prison of all places. The women reformatory at Alderson, West Virginia. And this is where she served out her term. She didn't want to leave the prison although she had been pardoned. But finally, she went to Ohio to work in a missionary. She was a teacher of language and music. In 19... 77, she died in the Grant Hospital of Colon Cancer. Tokyo Rose was yet to be tried in the, in the Japanese tried her. She was married and her husband had left and went back to where he, the country he came from. She was pregnant and when she was put in prison, but she lost the baby. She was pardoned and she also served her sentence in Alderson, West Virginia. The same like West Virginia was well recommended throughout the war and throughout Korea and Vietnam. She came home. Her mother had died because she had diabetes and during 1941 afterwards that she had been put, her and her husband, both citizens, were put in a compound <clears throat> and they had lost everything. Her mother had died, but her dad had an import, export business in Chicago. And that's where she went to work. And in 1977, Gerald Ford, president of the United States, pardoned, give her a full pardon, and give her back 
her citizenship papers. When she died, she never remarried and she left no relatives. I have never been able to figure out which is the good, which is the bad, and which is the evil. Thank you for listening.